Here we go, I'm gonna do a little bit more of a demonstration of what I did at, uh, the demonstration of Skimbad that I did at FCOM. So here we go. Uh, I'm gonna go over a little bit of the details. Um, this version that is for the demonstration is the, it's basically a visual version that is slowed down. Uh, as you can see on the left, it's injecting credit cards right now, but I slowed it down to about one credit card a second instead of uh, 500 to 1,000, which is what I recommend for the full-blown installer. So, and I do have like a full-blown installation version right here that, uh, like I said, this on the left is the console version. As you can see, it's fully installable, has a actual installable application. So, let's see here, I'm gonna go over a little bit of the details. Um, so this is the, basically, malware that is going through the memory, or this is actually the server portion of the malware. So this is, this web page is a, um, an example of where the software that is scraping the credit cards from memory is sending. So these usually aren't run on the same machine, and I stressed that at the DEF CON demo, that uh, both the malware, the point of sale system, and everything is all included in this one system on the demo. It's not normally. Normally they send the credit card numbers off in a post request, or they exfiltrate them other ways after they're dumped to a file. So uh, in this example, I'm gonna show right here, this is the console version. I have it running as a 30, it's injecting into the memory of a 32-bit process, since Jack POS has limitations on 32-bit processes. And uh, the actual malware that I'm demoing this with is Jack POS, which is a variant of uh, Black POS, one of the ones that hit target. There's a couple other people that were in their venue. It's just uh, very, very simple to see. It's very, very graphical, things like that. So it's a lot easier to get the gist of it. So basically Skimware, or excuse me, Skimbad is actually a software that I, uh, my, that myself and a coworker wrote. And I did a demonstration at DEF CON 23 this year. And it basically injects thousands of fake credit card numbers into valid batches. So basically if there was five credit cards that were swiped, uh, it would have about a thousand to two thousand credit cards injected around it. And uh, when people exfiltrate the data, there's random bin numbers that are generated which are bank identification numbers and as you can see on the left it's randomly generating names based off of uh, these lists here on the left and that's embedded in the software. Uh, we did go with a larger list, this one was 2500 of each, the first names and last names, most common in the United States. So that's how the software generates names, first and last. So I'll close those out and we'll see. Like right now we have about 6217 cards that are caught. and. If we go back to the dumps, yeah, about 6,384. So as you can see, it's injecting credit cards into memory. Uh, they pass the LUN algorithm check, which uh, has a check digit on the end of the credit card. So it's basically looking through memory. Uh, the malware is looking through memory, pulling what it looks like valid credit card numbers. And uh, the bank identification numbers are being generated randomly at this time. Uh, there are bins lists where you can tell, you know, this is from a so-and-so bank from North Dakota, just based off the first six digits, or, you know, this one's from Ontario. That's uh, basically, that's basically the gist of it. I'm gonna go over a little bit of the detail uh, right here. As you can see, these would be the track one and two data that is randomly generated. And uh, yeah, so that is a pretty good demonstration of what uh, Jack POS does it pulls credit cards out of memory and here's Skimbad, this is the software that is injecting it into memory and like I said this is a demonstration ver version uh, the actual full blown version I'm going to put on GitHub in a little bit here I couldn't <laughs> put it on DEF CON because there's too many fake cell towers so I appreciate you guys watching the video and let me know if you have any questions at all uh, feel free to message on YouTube or hit me up on Twitter at uh, hashtag Weston Hacker so thanks for uh, viewing I will talk to you guys later